Hey guys, it's Tuesday, and these are some awesome cookies. So hey guys, I just got back from school, and it's completely dark outside. And it's not even 6 o'clock, I mean seriously. So, I have an interesting fact for you. Well, more strange than interesting. I was talking to um, two girls from my class. <laughs> they told me that at least at least four people in my class thought that I was a guy first day that I walked into class. Which is kind of strange. I mean, I'm used to people um, seeing me as a boy if I'm on the street wearing my hoodie and they don't know me. Like, I do get called a guy. That happens, whatever. But I had my hoodie off and I don't know, I mean, it's just strange. One of them only recognized me as a girl after I said my name. I'm like, okay, that, 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 that is awesome. So I finished those books that I showed you last time briefly from Trudy Kahneman and um, let me tell you, they were awesome. I read a lot of fantasy, like I started with a German author that's called Holbein. Um, which is rather good, I would say. He has his up and downs. And then I read Tolkien and that was like the ultimate fantasy book that I've ever read. But Trudy Kellerman's books, I would put them right after Tolkien. She's brilliant. I mean, seriously, if you haven't read them, read them. I chose this week's challenge, which was to state um, a poem from a German author and then just translate it in some kind of way. So my poem is going to be from a guy called Gottfried Ben. He was a um, doctor in medicine. His poems are really interesting, but you're going to see that in a second. Um, I didn't learn it by heart because I do have a heck load of schoolwork. So I hope it's okay if I just read it from my laptop. So first um, we have the German version. The poem is called Schöne Jugend. Der Mund eines Mädchen, das lange im Schilf gelegen hatte, sah so angeknabbert aus. Als man die Brust aufbrach, war die Speiseröhre so löchrig. Schließlich in einer Laube unter dem Zwerchfell fand man ein Nest von jungen Ratten. Ein kleines Schwesterchen lag tot. Die anderen lebten von Leber und Niere, tranken das kalte Blut und hatten hier eine schöne Jugend verlebt. Und schön und schnell kam auch ihr Tod. Man warf sie allesamt ins Wasser. Ach, wie die kleinen Schnauzen quietschen. So everyone that speaks German, don't run away. I know it's creepy. <laughs> but now here for the English speaking. A fine childhood. The mouth of a girl who had long lain in the reeds looked so chewed up. When we finally broke the torso, the esophagus was full of holes. Finally in a bower under the diaphragma, we found a nest of young rats. One little sister rat lay dead. The others were living off liver and kidney, drinking the cold blood and enjoying a fine childhood. And fine and fast was their death too. We threw the whole bunch into the water. Oh, how those little snouts squeaked. So like I said, a little unusual, a little weird, and maybe a little creepy. But that's why I remember him, you know? So see you Tuesday with my punishment to blend the rice, um, six ingredients. So far we have licorice, banana and potato chips. And Leo, see you tomorrow.